You have done it once. Now you need to do it again. The whole company. Come on, get ready.
wanted to play with it. Get your own. But mine is red. You stubborn little so-and-so. All right then. But make sure you bring it back. Promise. I promise. success of your spiritual session in my absence. Pause the playback of my voice on the wax turn after each step until you have correctly completed the step in question. Placing the five silver candlestick holders I sent you on the table. Naturally, these have been blessed with holy water. Do you have the candles and the matches? Very good. Place the candles in the candlestick holders. Do 
you have the salt for the next step? Good. The consecrated pendulum will now show you the order in which you need to mark out the lines of the witch's foot between the candles. Use the pendulum, then mark out the lines with the salt. Once you have done this, we can proceed further. Praise 
I bet he's not even got hair on his balls yet. <laughs> mm, better not get those boots dirty.
That's meant to be, aren't you, enlightened? Someone should wipe that smug grin off his face. I give him two weeks in the trenches. He won't be laughing then. He'll be off back home to Mummy in no time. In a wooden box, most likely. <laughs> Lay off, lads. Give him a chance, at least.
They run out of real men. Everything's getting smaller these days. Loitman is nothing but a little prince playing dress up. A milk sop for an office. They don't give a rotting turn about us. Damn it. Damn it all. We used to eat runts like him for breakfast back at school. The upper class is here in the trenches. The rats will be delighted. Have we got any more canned milk? Here, meat. Strong if he wants to make daddy proud. Company! Ted Shot! 27 men present and correct. Was that you by the plane? My eyes. I can't see a thing. But they cannot deceive me anymore. It's all lies. None of it is true. None of it! <laughs> Supreme Army Command. We must inform Supreme Command. The Kaiser needs to know what's happening here. The war isn't over. The enemy is here. We have to win the war, do you hear? For the fatherland and for ourselves. I... My eyes, God, my eyes. The boy will go far. Father always said so. It was his dying wish. Your father is gone. He built this house for himself, no one else. Leave the vendor of all places. Also, he could send your harness to the Cadet Academy. And now fall too. More heirs, more soldiers. That's all I was ever good for. The Academy would have done Johannes the power of good. You've seen for yourself what your coddling has done to him. It's a disgrace.
femme Oh mon Dieu, c'est un fils You know I won't tolerate that language under my roof Your father's words again You cannot even speak for yourself Where has my husband gone Nonsense Father was right You've already warped one of my sons with your hysteria I won't allow you to ruin the other
Go! <laughs> I'm going to get you! <laughs> no, you're not! <laughs> no! No, please! August 10th, 9th.
I felt the shockwaves all the way back here. What happened? Did you clear the gun positions? Prove it to me! Sure. I hope you can understand that. the abomination that did this to me too. I should never have doubted you, soldier. Uh, even though you never brought me my medicine. But uh, I can take care of myself. The enemy is spreading through the country like a plague. They have penetrated our ranks and even uh, the fatherland itself. I need to hold our position here. The rest is up to you now. Follow the railway tunnel in the east. It will take you to a munitions factory. They've cut off the supply lines for our war materials. Something is interfering with production. There are rumors of a saboteur. An enemy in our own ranks. Take this. It will be dark soon. If you can get the machines up and running again. I'll have all the explosives we need to win the war. Just like you did.
and
You're no son of mine. You're a disgrace to this family. You perverts are driving our nation to ruin. Carl, don't. Nothing happened. War is coming. And you're going to die. Look at yourselves. You're not men.
Yes. Yavor. If only we had more like him. Absolute Air Commandant. Yes, he's Officer Material, all right. The perfect fit for my flight squadron. You can count on me, sir. Yavole, Commandant. Soldier, I knew I could count on you, even though you failed to stop that fiendish saboteur. But we don't need weapons to get the job done, do we? At ease, soldier. Your reliability and ambition are exemplary. I managed to get through to Supreme Army Command. However, I'm afraid I have some bad news. We are on our own out here. Deserters and traitors back home are trying to drive a dagger into our backs. They want to force the Kaiser and the Supreme Army Command to surrender. Cowards. They have no idea what things are like out here on the front. We are being overrun. Perhaps they are even responsible for these freaks of nature that plague our trenches. They want to hold us back. This new enemy, it even has aerial capability now, attacking from the sky. It hates the light. I managed to blind it with our searchlights. But then its scream short-circuited everything. The fuses, the wires, all burnt out. This enemy knows no mercy. It will not stop at our borders. If we lay down arms, it will ravage the whole fatherland. The potent brand will be upon us and the world will burn. Everything we fought for will be lost. The Kaiser and Supreme Army Command are aware of our efforts. They count on us. There's some technical equipment in my plane. Fuses, among other things. Out there in no man's land. Soldier, attention! You will fight your way through to the crash plane in the west. Secure the equipment, the fuse for the searchlight. Then we can blind this monstrosity. I'll cover you from up there. I see things so much clearer now. I'll keep an eye on you. And then... Then... We will be the cleansing fire. We will wipe the enemy off the face of the earth. And earn our way back home. No faltering. No hesitation. For freedom and the fatherland. Dismissed, soldier.
On your feet, soldier! Come on, throw me the fuse! It. Get that hellish monstrosity! I'll repair the searchlights, then we can finish the job! Don't tell me you're getting tired now! Go, go, go!
want him to go. I must. No. No. I want to. Don't you understand? For our freedom. If only Why was it him? You think rank is everything. Not him.
to you. My son's dead. He's dead.
the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. My dear boy, I wanted to die for what you did to your brother. The Holy Virgin Mary has returned you to us too. I want to live now. For the fatherland is your duty. How could I be so bad? So cowardly. Oh, you are alive. And your brother. Forgive me, please. 
haven't been a good father to you, nor could I say to Madeleine. How can we go on from here? yourself in the foot. Just do something. If you don't, I will. We'll be slaughtered out there. Listen, you've got to get out of here. No, that's nothing to do with it. I don't blame you for ratting me out. You didn't know any better. wanted me to come and get you. Papa spoke to me. Do you understand what that means? He must have heard it from the very top. Your damned uniform is meaningless. Your name is meaningless. And your death will be meaningless too. You really think you're better than me now? Just because they put those pips on your shoulder. They're running out of offices. And now they want to send us out to too. Far too. <laughs> By supreme command. This isn't about me or you. The lives of this whole company rest on your shoulders, Paul. And yours alone. Do you know what that means? Do you really understand? Think about what I said. Make your own decision for once in your life. Please.
You still don't understand, do you? There's no such thing as half a victory. Not for us. A lunatic, the ancient enemy, hysterical and spineless. <laughs> a cowardly old cripple who sends his children to fight in his stead. A pervert who couldn't fight, for whom a merciful death was almost too good. Their never-ending suffering, their pain, that's what's in your blood. But you, <laughs> you're even worse than them. The Great Lightnet, your entire company. Why couldn't you at least have had the decency to die? The rest of them! Couldn't you at least have had the decency? <laughs>